HP LaserJet Tank series of printers are an exceptional set of print devices that are truly easy to own by the user. HP LaserJet Tank series of printers come with a pre-installed toner tank of massive 5,000 pages and the revolutionary self-reload feature ensuring usage and maintenance of the printer are in the hands of the user. So it's just about use, reload and use again. It's that easy. However, there is one concern that is in the mind of all of us who are selling the LaserJet Tank series of printers. If, God forbid, the drum of the LaserJet Tank printer gets faulty, we all believe that it's very difficult to replace. But today, I am going to break that myth for all of you. Replacing the drum of the LaserJet Tank series of printers is easy. Your team, your store staff, anyone can replace the drum of the LaserJet Tank printer. Let's see how. As the first step, we need to remove the top cover. You need to hold the top cover in your left hand and use the minus screwdriver to lightly remove the latch from the right side. Once the cover is removed, we now need to move on and remove the inner cover. The first step is to remove the screw from the top left side of the inner cover. You need to push the right side latch with the minus screwdriver to release the inner cover from the latch. We next need to remove the laser caution plate by releasing the two tabs with the help of the minus screwdriver. There is one tab on the bottom and the second on the right. With the minus screwdriver, both can be easily removed. Once released, you need to pull out the laser caution plate and keep it safely on the side. We next need to remove the flat cable which is installed on the drum. We need to lightly hold it and carefully pull it out. We now need to turn the printer around to the back side so that we can open the rear drawer and the transfer assembly with our hands. We can now see there is a green colored OPC drum unit. There are two silver colored hook plates, one on the left and one on the right. Both are attached to the machine with a screw each. We need to remove both the screws and keep them safely on the side. They will be used during the installation of the new drum. Use the plus screwdriver to remove the screws from the left side silver hook plate. This will release the plate. You need to lightly pull out the plate with your hands. Now continue to use the plus screwdriver and remove the screw from the right side hook plate and release it. Lightly pull out the plate and keep it safely on the side. These plates will be installed again on the new drum. Next, you need to disengage the drum from the coupling gear on the left side by pushing it inside with the minus screwdriver. Now it is time to remove the drum, but be very careful. Do not touch the green colored OPC surface with your fingers. The right way to pull out the drum is to hold it with the thumb and fingers of your right hand on the black plastic part and use your left hand at the same time to push the drum out of the printer body. Now the drum unit will be in your hands. Turn it around, use the plus screwdriver to remove two screws to release the yellow colored toner level sensor PCB and the black positioning plate together in one go. Keep the screws and both the plates carefully as we need to use them on the new drum. Now it is time to get the new drum ready to be installed back into the printer. Now we will install the yellow colored toner level sensor PCB and the black positioning plate onto the new drum using the same screws with the plus screwdriver. Once installed, we now need to put this drum into the printer. Hold the new drum with the thumb and fingers of your right hand on the black plastic part. Push the drum inside the empty drum slot on the printer. Simultaneously, use your left hand to pull and place the drum rightly till a click sound comes, indicating that the drum is now placed in the right position. We need to engage the coupling gear on the left side using the minus screwdriver by pushing the coupling gear inside lightly with the screwdriver and the new drum is installed in the printer. We now need to install the two silver hook plates back on the new drum. One on the left side and one on the right side. 
you need to use the retained screws and use your plus screwdriver to screw the silver plates back onto the new drum. Now we will close the transfer assembly and the rear door. Turn the printer around so that the front side of the printer faces you. It is now time to install the flat cable back onto the new drum by pushing it gently in the slot on the toner level sensor PCB. Now we need to install the laser caution plate back by pressing it in the two tabs with the help of your hands. Next, you need to install the inner cover assembly by aligning it in the correct lock space and installing the screw on the top left. It is now time to install the top cover assembly back. First, you need to install the longer left side lock and then lightly bend the cover from the middle to ensure the right side lock enters into the slot. Now the cover is installed. With this, the hardware installation of the drum is complete. To be able to now use the printer, it is mandatory to reset the old drum counter in the machine using a software. Next, you will understand the steps involved in resetting the old drum counter using the software. There are two ways to start the software reset for the drum. You can either use USB or you can do it through a Wi-Fi connection. Select software and drivers on hp.com. Choose the product type that is printer. Enter your serial number, product number or product name in the space. Scroll down to find the downloadable files. Click on installation software and full basic driver support option. Identify your printer's name and click on the download button. Locate the file in your browser window or downloads folder and click on it to start the installation. To reset via USB, Please follow the following steps. Type CMD in the search bar to access the command prompt. Type in the following command in the window and press enter. Find a pin located in the flap of the printer for password and enter that pin. Do not press refresh on the screen. Press the eye blinking button on the printer. Now press refresh button and click on the supply reset button under supplies and press ok once the confirmation is received. Close the browser window, restart the printer and you are done with setting up your printer with USB. To reset with Wi-Fi, please follow the following steps. Type the address shown on the screen in the internet browser window. Type the URL shown on the screen and press enter. Click on OK that is shown on the screen. Click on advanced on the screen reflecting some connectivity error. Click on continue to the URL highlighted in blue. Find the pin number located on the surface of the flap. Enter the pin number mentioned on the flap of the printer. Do not press refresh on the screen. Press the eye blinking button on the printer. Now press refresh button and click on the supply reset button under supplies and press ok once the confirmation is received. Close the browser window, restart the printer and you are done with setting up your printer with Wi-Fi Direct. So wasn't it easy? Like I said, anyone can do it. Your team, your sales staff can easily replace the drum unit from the LaserTech Tank series of printers. 